Just Matt Miller. Cloud cover moving on through. That'll move on out later on tonight, leaving us not only clear for later tonight, but giving us a pleasant day tomorrow just ahead of a system which will bring us a uh, not so pleasant Thursday as we head into late Wednesday night and Thursday, a winter storm affecting the northern half to two thirds of the area primarily. And then once that moves on through, it'll be quite cold behind it Friday and Saturday. Now the wind has picked up over the northern counties briefly as some of that uh, wind shift is coming through. It's a, a kind of a brief 10 to 20 mile per hour wind and then We'll see those winds relax a little bit later on tonight. Temperature across the area is cooling down slowly. Clouds overhead at both Emporia as well as in Topeka holding temperatures up a little bit. We're still at 39 degrees considering uh, it was upper 40s. We've not even fallen 10 degrees from the high so far with a light west northwest wind at 3. 48 was the high. We started out at 16 this morning. There's still more snow on the ground at that point. We had a clear sky last night. We will eventually clear tonight. Temperatures are starting to fall mainly west and northwest into the low to mid 30s, but lots of upper 30s to the east. Here comes that northerly breeze. It won't last for too long, maybe about an hour, hour and a half worth of a stronger northwest wind or north wind, and then it turns northeast later on tonight and into the day tomorrow. By that point, it relaxes only to pick back up toward the late part of the day. We get into a 10 to 15 mile per hour range for the evening hours as the clouds start to build in. Storm system arrives. Mentioned all day, this is not the cloud cover from the system itself. That's what will move on through and pass on by. It's this next system coming in. It continues to drop farther south. We're starting to see the leading edge of it all the way southward into Wyoming, but the actual system just now crossing the U.S.-Canadian border. That one will drop in, turn to the east, and it's looking a little bit more like it's backed up a slight bit to the north. Not a lot, but just a slight bit to the north, as you'll see here in a second. That keeps us, uh, again, mostly sunny through most of the day. The clouds roll in after 2 o'clock, and then we start to cloud up. Could start to see some snow showers during the evening. Snow moves across. Now, this I just said it moved to the north. This data is actually just coming in. Dropped it right back down to the south again. So it still looks like most of the area picks up on a decent amount of snow overnight and into Thursday. Some of the southeastern counties may get a second little wave of that. This model. Uh, picking up. This is just brand new that's coming in. Uh, the first time we're seeing this indication that the southern counties get clipped uh, with enough of a second round. It's been showing generally less than two inches over the southern counties. Well, watch that trend. And that's the first time we've seen that run of it come through. Generally about three to six inches central, four to eight inches of snow to the north. And again, that is for tomorrow night and into the daytime Thursday. Tonight we drop down to 24 degrees. We top out at 45, northeast wind at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. It is going to be snowy. That much looks to be a pretty good certainty. 80% because we're still holding on to whether or not the southern counties get hit as hard. Uh, and maybe some areas missed out just a little bit from that. But generally 20s with a gusty north northeast wind at about 5 to 15. Just strong enough to add a little bit of an extra chill to the air. And then some cold nights after the snow. But look at that recovery. After 40 on Saturday, 62 on Sunday. Then 59 Monday and 70 by Tuesday, so a big warm up next week. Uh, March has a tendency to have some wild temperature swings, and this week ahead of us, no different. High thin clouds over Gary County today from Rick Dykstra from Kay Clark in Topeka. There's another view at Hiawatha from Lori Martinson, as well as a nice uh, clear sky view in Leavenworth from Mike Myers, and then the clouds started rolling late from Jean Mary at Burlington. Again, about this time tomorrow, we'll start to see a few flurries or snow showers starting up, but the bulk of it should hold off until after midnight tomorrow night, but then it will be snowing throughout the morning hours. All right, well, I'm excited to look forward. I'm excited to see those pictures. I can't even talk. Excited to see the pictures of the snow that people will send us. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll it'll be nice for that, yes. and then it'll also be nice to get rid of it and then be back <laughs> into spring weather next week. Oh, yeah, we're getting all kinds of different flavors of yeah. the seasons. All right.